and constant changes to testing and mask guidelines are making it hard for families and students playing sports to stay on the ball. It's a roller coaster. It's up and down. Um, you know, one season to the next, the, the, the guidance changes. And it's possible guidelines will continue to change as the state works to keep these kids on the field or the court safely. More than a month ago, the Department of Health adjusted testing guidance for students playing in sports because of a sporting event outbreak in Western Washington. And just days ago, well, it changed again. Eleni Dow explains what the new guidance is and how families are dealing with all of these constant changes. There's one constant in the pandemic, and it's that things can change quickly. The constant changes to school sports guidelines is giving families some whiplash. One parent I spoke with says they'll do whatever they have to to keep kids in school and continue playing the sports they love. To see your kids play in a sport they love makes a parent feel proud. Then you find out a game gets canceled. It's just a bummer when you see their emotion of not being able to play or not knowing if you're going to play or hey, a game's scheduled, then it gets canceled. You maybe find another one, then that one gets canceled. Andy Prado's son had some of his Mount Spokane High basketball games postponed because of COVID. The Greater Spokane League, which helps schedule school sporting competitions, says more than 50 games had to be rescheduled in basketball divisions 2A, 3A, and 4A already. So you're looking at, you know, 32 uh, varsity teams. And so everybody's, you know, had to reschedule, reshuffle, and that doesn't include all the lower level games. In addition to canceled and rescheduled games, COVID guidelines are changing again for students participating in sports. Masks are now required while practicing, which it wasn't before. Just last week, students had to test three times a week. Now they just have to get tested on the day of competitions. The Department of Health says it did this because it was straining the testing supply during a demanding time. Even with the new changes, some students could still test multiple times a week because of rescheduled matches. So we could have some teams testing more than three times a week if they have four games in a given week. Regardless of the constant changes, Prado and his son will keep doing what they can to stay in the game. Mask up to lace up, I'm telling you. Whatever we got to do to keep these kids in whatever realm they're playing, I think is a good thing. Because they just, you know, the, the, the years go by so quick. And the seasons are not really that long. In Mead, Eleni Dow, 4 News Now.